yeah, one of the most succinct ways to describe um, anarchy and uh, yeah, I guess anarchy and volunteerism is um, the phrase "as you wish." You know that we embody that phrase because if you know if we want something uh, for ourselves, you know the freedom for ourselves, then we must grant that same freedom to other people, right? Because people, some people don't understand that when you seek to use the state to uh, limit the freedoms of other people, that eventually those people will seek to use the state to limit your own freedom. And, and that, you know, it, there's always this cycle of violence going on all the time that that's, people don't like to recognize. But, um, but yeah, it's a very simple thing. Like you said, we, you know, we, we can have different tastes in music and culture and, and food and, and, you know, everything. And we can, you can still live in harmony. It's, it's to look at in nature. You know, nature, I think, was one of the best examples of spontaneous. Right? I mean, I guess we are, we are products of nature, right? So, so you look out in the woods. There is no central agency, no central authority dictating what, <laughs> what should grow, what should live, what should die, you know. And somehow there is some sort of, some sort of order that happens. And I think that's analogous to, to the market, to the economy, in that things get created, Right. Um, resources go to where they're needed and most can be put to the most efficient use, not because someone is in charge of everything dictating where everything should go, but because of you know competition, supply and demand, the pricing mechanism. Um, that's just how things happen. <laughs> and, and, and it's just so sad when, when there's problems in that, people often blame uh, the free market and then seek a violent government solution <laughs> which is the complete opposite when i first started i used to identify very strongly with you know as an anarcho-capitalist specifically um and, and and you know if you pin me down i guess i really would but now i i kind of backed up and i kind of have realized that you know really i think the main goal is um you know is just anarchy in general right just yeah. live and let live right just you know no one has a right to rule any, anyone else and if people can can uh, come together in a community and call it, you know, and it be more like a commune, a commune or an eco village. What's really wrong with that? There's nothing really wrong with that. Or if if people want to have a worker owned co op, what's really wrong with that? Nothing, you know. If it's if there's nobody being injured or harmed, or if it's you know basically all voluntary, you know, I don't really have a problem with that. Um, and and people can choose to live the way they want to live. So so I think that's more important. You know, I agree with you that. The idea of uh, that's why I like volunteerism and agorism. I guess it's just they're, they're more general terms, um, and you know if, if but but you know if you were to say you know well, which which system do you think will lead to more prosperity? Well, then I, I guess that's more of a, like a a utilitarian argument, like you know which would be more successful. But for but for now, I think I think what's the most important? What's the you know the largest beast that we have to slay is statism. The idea of the belief in authority, you know, the state. That's the biggest beast. <laughs> Um, and, yeah. and you know, if you're talking about state communism, all right, that's a huge beast. But we're talking about anarcho communism. You know, that's a that's more or less a voluntary thing. So I don't have a problem with that. And the way I describe my podcast, I say, I, you know, I talk about uh, universal morality, peaceful parenting, unschooling, homeschooling, um, and um, and agorism and counter economics. And and so a lot of people say, well, what's agorism? So you know, basically the way I describe it is. Um, you know, transacting outside of the state, raising your kids outside of the state, um, having businesses outside of the state, you know, basically just living your life outside of the state and in that, and, and prospering and thriving. And in that way, um, slowly starving, uh, the beast. And I think that's one of the best ways that, you know, basically it's like peaceful noncompliance, you know, you know, you're, you're, you're not hurting anybody. Um, you're just engaging in voluntary interaction. That is by the way, unapproved by the state. Incidentally, <laughs> um, but it's beautiful because you're still living and you're still thriving. And uh, and how can that be a crime to thrive? Is, is that, isn't that a strange thing? 